Hi guys, I got a request to do a review on three beauty bombs and the first one is from Hard Candy and it is the CC cream which is a correction cream. Second one is Super BB cream from Physicians Formula and then the third one is the Flower BB cream. And these two are sold exclusively at Walmart, so you can only get these at Walmart. And I'll go ahead and start off with this one because this is the one that I tried first, which is the hard candy. Um, and the packaging is really cute, and it has 1.5 ounces. And this is, and this one is eight dollars. It's the cheapest out of the three, and. Um, it says that it does a lot of things. This is supposed to brighten your complexion, even it out. It's, it has pearls in it. It has SPF. It color corrects. It's supposed to blur um, blemishes. And um, it's supposed to balance your complexion. And with this one, I only liked it. I didn't love it. Um, to me, it wouldn't blur out any blemishes just because when I applied it, it didn't hide any of the redness around my nose. Um, and I, you can still see my dark circles. So everything was still very visible. It doesn't have a really high coverage. It's very sheer. Um, and the coloring is really dark. Like this is in shade light, but it was really dark on my skin. I'll show you. So you can see here that this is shade light. This is a light one. There's one called Fair that I would probably get if you're really light skin because this one I would say is more like of a medium tone. And you can see there that it's pretty dark for being the light shade. Um, and it smells like SPF when you apply it. It smells like sunscreen. It doesn't have high coverage. It's just, I would say it's a sheer coverage. It wouldn't be good for those that have a lot of problem areas because it's not going to cover anything up. It's just kind of to even out the skin tone. It worked really well for evening out everything on my face. The coloring is a little bit darker than what it says. Um, it dries a very nice matte finish. It soaks into the skin very fast so it doesn't sit on, on top of the skin and then where you can feel, feel greasy or if you touch your face that it's just going to come off. Um, so that's a good thing. But overall, I would give this a three stars. I just like it. Um, I personally probably won't repurchase this just because I felt that the coverage wasn't good enough. Like I feel um, that there should be a little bit more coverage because I wouldn't want... It's kind of just more work for me. If I could put on something that's going to cover most of the redness and most of my dark circles then it's less work for me to have to go on and fix everything with the concealer so um, if you have fairly really good skin then this would probably work for you uh, if you have oily skin this would be good for you if you have dry skin I don't think this would be good just because it does dry um, matte and your skin kind of just drinks it up so it's not very hydrating uh, but it was a pretty good product for the price. $8 is pretty cheap. I would definitely recommend this to like teenagers that don't really want to wear a lot of makeup. Uh, they just want to kind of even out their skin tone and have some SPF. The next one I tried was from Flower and I got the shade BB1. And this one was actually super light. So... This one, this one was a little bit too dark and then this one was a little bit too light. But um, with it being too light, it's not that big of a deal for me just because I use a lot of bronzer and then this ends up just being a highlight for the areas that I normally highlight. So this is the flower and this one has a lot of coverage. So this is a more of a high coverage uh, BB cream so if you're looking for something that's going to give you a lot of coverage I would totally suggest this one and it dries a matte finish so it's once it dries it's matte so it doesn't have um, any sheen to it if you have oily skin I would definitely recommend this one just because it's matte it's long-lasting this is supposed to have up, have up to 12 hours 
um, which it does, but you will need to powder your T-zone um, maybe about four hours after you wear this. I'd say that's when I started noticing that I was a little bit oily on my T-zone. Um, so it doesn't it doesn't control your oils, but it does have a matte finish, which you will not look greasy. This covers up redness really well. Uh, usually when I use this, I don't really need to conceal, use concealer afterwards. It does a really good job of hiding um, the dark circles under my eyes and the redness around my nose. And I really like the finish. It's kind of similar to just like a, a foundation. It doesn't really feel like a BB cream when I'm applying it because it has really high coverage. Um, it lasts a long time and if you were looking for a BB cream that's more high coverage then I would totally suggest this so one. So this one overall I would give five stars. I love it. I would definitely repurchase this one. I love the coverage. I love the finish that it's matte. It's long lasting um, and yeah it's good for oily skin which I have oily combination skin and I really like the way that it feels kind of just like a foundation, but it has all the benefits of a BB cream. And this one is $12.98, and it has one ounce in it. That's the flower one. And then the last one I've tried is the Super BB Cream from Physicians Formula, and I have the shade Light to Medium. And this one has SPF 30, and it has the most out of all of them out of the three has the, the highest SPF and this one is really great for oily combination skin for dry skin it's very hydrating I have oily combination skin and I felt like it didn't make my face look greasy which I don't like and it sits well on the skin I'm wearing this one today it it doesn't dry completely matte it still has a little bit of a sheen to it which is more of a natural finish to your skin and out of the three, I probably like this one the most just because it looks the most natural and it gives you a, a good amount of coverage. This one hides all the redness around my nose and uh, my under eye area. Sorry, my allergies are acting up so I'm a little bit sniffly. Um, and this one is $13.23. $13.23 and this one has 1.2 fluid ounces. So... Uh, and this is the perfect match for me. But the reason why I like this one the most out of the three is because it has everything. It's hydrating. It has great coverage. It has a nice skin finish. It doesn't smell like anything. And it lasts a really long time. Yesterday, I washed my car. It was really hot outside. I was sweating. But at the end of the day, before I wash my makeup off, it still looked nice. So... I'd say if you're looking for a really good BB cream, I would suggest you try this one out. Even if you have oily skin or dry skin, it should work really well for you because it's very hydrating, it's creamy, um, and yeah, I really like this one. This one also has, I saw that it has a, this one also comes with a beauty balm concealer and powder which I did not purchase just because I wanted to do just the BB cream itself without anything else to make it better than the other three or because you know this one would have an advantage if I use the concealer and the powder as opposed to just using it by itself. So out of the three this one was my favorite. This is the one that I like the most. Um, and then the second one I like is this one the flower one and then the one that I like the least is the hard candy CC cream so I hope that this was helpful for you guys if you have any questions about any of the BB creams that maybe I didn't mention in the video go ahead and comment below and I will get back to you and let you know and I hope this was helpful thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video